Well, here we have a magnificent 1966 Cadillac Fleetwood 60 Special Brome. Yes, that is the technically correct term for this vehicle. In 1965, Cadillac's full-size lineup was revamped, and the styling went to the stacked headlight design that you see here. And also for 1965, the car went with these super clean body side sections, as opposed to the historical skegs and fins that you saw on Cadillacs of yesteryear. So it was a dramatic change in styling for 1965. The styling was actually pioneered in Cadillac Advanced Studio, which helps explain the dramatic departure from Cadillacs of yesteryear. You'll notice also on the front here in the hood that there is a wreath and crest logo for the Cadillac emblem. That wreath and crest was specific to Fleetwood models, and the Fleetwood models included the 60 Special sedan, also the 75 sedan and limousine, and the Eldorado convertible. If you didn't have one of those Fleetwood models, then you got the Cadillac Crest, and instead of the wreath, you got a V. And as I mentioned, this is a Fleetwood 60 Special Brome. You can tell that it's a Brome because it has the standard vinyl roof, which most of them rusted out severely on the back area, particularly on, around the corners of the rear window. And yes, all cars with vinyl tops of this era tended to do that, but for whatever reason, these Bromes were atrocious for that, as well as the Lincoln Continental Mark IVs and the Lincoln Continentals. This one is in mint condition, as you're going to see here. And the Brome also came with some unique interior options. They had a damask cloth with leather bolsters that you can see here. We'll take a quick look. We'll take a more in-depth look later. You could also get a Dartmoor pattern in black, blue, or beige, or Delmont cloth or leather. Out back, you'll notice Cadillac's trademark vertical taillights. They're perfectly vertical on Cadillacs. That was something that you could guarantee on every Cadillac. They were not canted either way, like other vehicles. And an interesting tidbit of information on this 1966 Fleetwood 60 Special sedan is that there is no way to change that taillight bulb from either the trunk or the exterior. There are no screws to get at it. This was a designer feature. The designer of this vehicle didn't want any exposed screws on the outer lamp lenses, and Fisher Body refused to put access to the tail lamp bulbs in the trunk for reasons of water intrusion. I know it sounds strange because that was pretty typical on many vehicles. And so the only way that you can change the taillight bulb on this vehicle is to drop the bumper or to have a very small hand and reach up into that area between the bumper and the taillight to get it out. This vertical stacked headlight theme would continue on Cadillacs through the 1968 model year, and then in 1969 it would change back to the horizontal tail lamps when the styling underwent a major revision. It was still the same platform of vehicle between 1965 and 1970. All of these Fleetwood 60 Specials rode atop 133-inch wheelbase, just a massive wheelbase. The standard Cadillacs at the time rode atop 129.5 cubic inch wheelbase, so they're a bit smaller, if you can call 129.5 inch wheelbase small. This 66 version of the Fleetwood 60 Special carried a 429 cubic inch V8 under hood that made 340 horsepower. That 429 cubic inch V8 was introduced for the 1964 model year. And its last model year would be 1967. It was pretty short-lived. In 1968, it would be superseded by the Cadillac 472 cubic inch V8 that made 375 horsepower. That 472 later evolved to 500 cubic inches in 1970 with the introduction of the Eldorado. And then in the 1975 model year, the 472 was dropped and all Cadillacs had that 500 cubic inch V8 for the 1975 and 76 model years before it was downsized to 425 cubic inches in 1977, along with the cars being downsized. This 429 cubic inch engine is actually a really, really nice engine. And of course, the Turbo Hydromatic 400 transmission is a super smooth shifter and operator. The one Achilles heel of the 429 is, is the oil pump that is integrated into the timing chain cover. If the oil wasn't changed frequently or if the car has high miles, sometimes the engine loses oil pressure because there's too much of a gap between the oil pump and that timing cover. And then you lose oil pressure and bad things happen. And as you can imagine now, it's pretty hard to find a new timing cover for a Cadillac 429 cubic inch V8. So just be aware of that. If you see one where the oil pressure light is on 
Um, and as I mentioned, beware of the vinyl roof issues and the bubbling on these. This car doesn't have any bubbling at all around that back glass, which I don't know how that happened. I've seen many low-mile cars of these Fleetwood 60 Specials that do have considerable bubbling, but this particular copy is just a stunning, stunning example. I also love that kind of grilled theme there on the lower portion of the bumper it just helps emphasize the horizontal nature of the rear and makes it look wider to complement the vertically oriented tail lamps. Cadillac didn't sell too many of these Fluid 60 Specials, only about 20000 in 1966 with a base price of $6,400. It was a very, very expensive vehicle. For purposes of comparison, that would be about $60,000 base price today. Here you see this beautiful interior on this vehicle. And I just think it's a stellar design of mid-century modernness. I love how the instrument panel wraps into the doors. That was very rare for this time period to have that instrument panel wrapping around and into the doors. And the armrest does as well, you can see, wrap into the lower portion of the instrument panel. You also got real wood. That is not fake wood on those doors for the 60 Special here. And you can see the sail panel reading lights and this beautiful cloth pattern coupled with uh, other areas that are finished in leather. These cars could also be had with all sorts of creature comforts. Notice the kind of picnic table trays back here. This was a one-year only feature on these Fleetwood 60 specials. This was only for 1966, but it looks very, very tasteful. And this car does have vent windows in the front and rear, both of which are power operated. Those rear windows that you see, that rear triangular window, is power operated, as is the front. So you don't just have four power windows in this car, you actually have eight power windows. Talk about a massive driver control master switch on these. And of course, you have other goodies like power seats, automatic climate control for 1966, which was introduced first on Cadillacs in 1964. Cadillac had a one-year only exclusive before other General Motors divisions could offer automatic climate control. You could get cruise control on these as well, but you are just seated back here in comfort. There's that power window control. You can see two switches, one for the main window, one for the vent window, and you could also notice that there were some footrests in the back too for your comfort. At least in my opinion, it wasn't too many years after this that Cadillac interiors started going downhill from this beautiful, tasteful, elegant design. And by the late 1960s, they were just using so much cheap plastic, and the 1971 models really were the nadir of Cadillac interiors in my, my mind. They just were not luxurious at all. But look at how beautiful that design is on this particular vehicle. I think it's just stellar. I love the three-spoke wheel and cloth being a luxury item. You have to remember that back in the day in the 1920s and 1930s, leather was actually the seating used for the drivers and the chauffeurs, and cloth was often the type of seats that passengers sat in. So I think now we're finally getting back to some cloth as a luxury item in terms of the interiors. I like the mink throw there, and also the assist straps on either side of the rear seat to help you get out, and that massive piece of real wood that adorns both door panels. If we pull back here again, you can see that this car has a B-pillar. That was something that had not been seen on the Fleetwood 60 Specials since 1957. They were B-pillarless vehicles from 1957 until 1965 when they gained the B-pillar back. That's at pillar in the middle there between the front and the rear door. One last look at the interior and its tasteful luxury and the power window switches. Just a cool car overall. Hope you enjoyed this walk around of a beautiful 1966 Fleetwood 60 Special. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the video thumbnails at bottom left and right for some suggestions for you. Thanks again for watching.